Hello, AP Psychology students. This is Mrs. Politsky, and I have your notes for Chapter 2, Research Methods, Part 5. And we're going to talk a little bit about, basically, psychology in our lives and a little bit about professional organizations for those people who might be doing research in psychology. So let's talk first of all about the big professional organizations. Uh, the first one is the APA or the American Psychological Association. Um, it's one of the uh, older of the psychology uh, associations. Uh, it is the oldest professional association for psychologists. Uh, it also has probably the most members, uh, well over 150,000 members and different affiliates. Aside from the APA, there's also the American Psychological Society, or the APS, uh, which was formed a handful of years ago, uh, that's given a stronger voice to uh, academic and research psychologists. As far as these associations, there are a number of psychology journals and magazines that um, many of their members might be reading. And the first one is to monitor on psychology. This is uh, put out by the APA. It is a monthly news magazine that for the most part talks a lot about psychology. And uh, it's very readable and uh, very informative as well. The second is the, the current directions in psychological science. Um, for the most part, this is a semi-monthly uh, APS journal that provides short reviews on trends and controversies in all areas of psychology. Then there's the American Psychologist. It is the flagship journal of the APA. Uh, psychological Science, it's a premier journal of the APS. The Whitman Journal of Psychology, it's a biannual journal of high school research, meaning that it's put together by high school uh, psychology teachers and probably includes the research of their students. Discover, which is a, a pretty well-known popular science periodical, uh, it's written for the general public, but it does include some psychological research. Scientific American, Again, another general interest science magazine, but sometimes it does include um, articles that deal with psychology. Science News, a weekly magazine consisting, consisting of brief, um, I guess you could call articles on breaking news in all areas of science, including psychology. And the Skeptical Inquirer, it's a take no prisoner pseudoscience bashing magazine. Uh, that's put out by the Committee on Scientific Investigations uh, of Claims of the Paranormal. So in other words, it's another one to kind of bash that. Thank you very much.